Hey guys, Freya Wilcox here. Today we're going to be doing a burst finish on this Les Paul that I've been working on. Uh, so hopefully it can look premium as fuck. Uh, I've actually gone ahead and already put the base coat on. Uh, I would have filmed it, but it looked like shit and I didn't feel like it, so hopefully you'll forgive me. Uh, but I'm going to show you how to do that base coat anyway, and I'm going to show you how to do a black burst finish. Um, what I've been using to stain this guitar is Angelus leather dye. Uh, you'll notice I'm wearing gloves. Please wear gloves if you're going to be staining anything. Uh, this stuff, even touching the bottle once it's been spilled because you're a clumsy bastard, uh, will put red all over your hands and the rest of your life. Uh, to do the black burst, I'm actually going to be using this India ink. It's like three bucks on Amazon. You can get it from a stationery store. You can also use a leather dye in black, but this will work just as well. And uh, from my research, it appears as though people staining wood with black leather dye are seeing more of a silvery finish. Uh, so I definitely wanted to go with like a solid black. Now, when you're staining a guitar with these dyes or inks, you can either mix them with a solvent or you can mix them with water. They are water-based. I'm going to be doing a combination of the two. When you put water in a dye and then you put it on the guitar, it raises the grain and it also takes longer to dry. So when you mix with the solvent, it doesn't take as long to dry and it's actually going to dry really quickly and it doesn't raise the grain so much. So I kind of want a happy medium there because I'm going to be hand rubbing this finish. Uh, I'm going to be basically putting black around the outside. I'm going to make three batches, one of the red, one of the black and one of a, a darker red that has a couple of drops of the black in it. And then I'm going to be feathering that in from the outside. What I've already done is put a very light layer of black underneath the red and sanded that back. So I've already put my black down and sanded that back and that's why you're seeing this grain definition here. It came out really nicely. Uh, if you have a flamed maple or a curly maple, definitely recommend doing that, bringing that grain out underneath the red. Okay, I'm going to take plastic cups, just putting it in anything else will ruin your life. I'm going to put splash of water in each cup. Uh, I'm going to spill it everywhere while I do that. It's up to you if you want to do that as well. And then about equal parts with denatured alcohol. Like I said, I'm going to spill it everywhere. Just uh, know that you don't have to. the alcohol as far away from me as possible so that I can't spill it anymore. Now this might take a lot of layers to get it the way you want it to. Uh, don't stress. Wood isn't the most forgiving material but you can sand it back so remain calm. Just move slowly hope for the best. Worst case you can always paint it black. Okay. So in cup A, I'm going to do a solid red. I'm putting quite a bit of red in there because I do want this to be pretty dark. I wasn't lying when I said I'm a really messy human. 
I really hope that some of you out there can enjoy a mess-free existence. I'm going to get my ink in cups two and three. Just a little ink in the one that I want to be a darker red because the black will permeate really quickly. And quite a bit in the solid black. Now in order to get the feather effect that I want, I should mention you should definitely mask up the side of your guitars. I'm actually going to be staining the, the back and the sides of this guitar red, but I don't want the black to run down into everything, otherwise I'm going to have to do black down the sides as well, and uh, that would not be my preference. I've got three rags here from Cut Up T-Shirt. You can use a paper towel. Uh, the leather dye itself actually comes with this little little fluff ball and a stick, and uh, I used that last night to stain the red. I quite like it. That's going to be a tool that I probably use as I come to feather it out. So try to make a tool out of your rags if you can. Fold it up, make a surface that you can kind of get an even finish with. Then we're just going to dip it and, and go ham. I'm going to start around the edges and work my way in. Uh, I'm going to be really careful on this guitar in particular because it has a spalted maple veneer. It's not a solid top. It's actually really thin and uh, where the spalting is occurring, that's these black marks. It's actually where uh, bacteria eats into the grain. So those parts of the grain are weaker and they're actually kind of cracking as I've been sanding and staining. So I want to be really, really careful with those spalted areas. And uh, once, I, once I stain it, I might put a grain filler in there. This is Archer. He's a helper. He's probably also going to ruin all of my finishes. Alright, so first up with the red. Just want to get some nice even coverage. For some scientific reason that I don't understand, once you put the alcohol in with the red, it goes a little orange. Uh, but this is the finish that you're going to get this deep, deep red. So don't stress. I'm putting this first layer on of red just so that I have something to work with when I'm blending. I'm going to put the black layer on last. Try to get your edges first and then move around in circles. I might actually want a little more water in here. It's drying quite quickly. Don't worry too much about getting it in your binding. You can actually go back and scrape that off with a razor blade, Stanley knife, scraper if you have one, whatever you want. You got this. I believe in you. Okay, now comes the kind of scary part uh, where we start to put darker colors on around. Um, might actually do another layer of red first with the wetter. Yeah, there we go. I want this guitar to be quite dark. You're going to have to do this to your taste. Definitely want to try to go for a, a Gibson cherry, maybe a little more crimson. I'm going to try to make this burst follow the curvature of the body. Just 
that might make it quite easy when it comes to finding my way. Okay, so that's just with our red. Next up, darker red. You can see in here, it kind of looks black. I promise it's red. I'm going to start right on the edge. There you go. So I'm leaving the middle and this high part of the body a little more open. And then I'm going to get the dry side and just kind of feather it out uh, just to be careful about where I'm at. Beautiful. So next comes our black. I'm going to put the black around the edges and then I'm going to go back over the top with a red quickly and start to try to pull that back and feather it back towards me. I'm going to be very careful not to go too far with this. I don't want to tread back over old work. I just want my guitar to be pretty. It's actually quite a weak black, as you can see. That's going to work for me for right now. As you do this, you're probably going to discover a finish that you didn't exactly anticipate, and that's really cool. So just, you know, go with it, and, and you can keep on working at this until you have something that you love. So leave yourself open to surprises. And that black is really bringing out the grain in the maple, which is beautiful. All right, and I'm gonna do my circular motion. with the dry-ish side. Okay, so you can start to see how this is coming together. I'm going to go back over with the solid red and then I'm going to do another coat of black. See, it's going. This black isn't as dark as I want it. So I'm going to put a little more ink in there before we do our next coat. This is definitely coming up. Very pretty. Brain's really starting to stand out. Picking up what I'm putting down here. The pollen is actually very, very dark. I like it. 
I'm gonna do a few more of those working that black in I'm trying to get it deep Oh my god, this grain is so beautiful. Gotta be happy with that. I'm actually just gonna stand above it with this next coat of black. Hoping that it might be one of the last. Just checking in with this. It's looking pretty nice on the arm side. But down there where we're gonna have the controls, the black's looking a little weak. All right. She's looking good. I'm gonna let it dry now for a bit and check it out. I'll be back. Uh, I'm going to be staining the rest of the body and the neck as well. <laughs> 